Hi, my name is Nina. I'm a registered nurse here in the Department of Dermatology at Denver Health. It is a medication that you take by mouth that is for acne that is severe or has not responded to the standard therapies. The medication was found to uh, be teratogenic, which means that it causes severe birth defects if you get pregnant while on this medication. So we're talking about no arms and no legs. The government developed a program to ensure that patients were being educated on how to avoid pregnancy while on this medication. Um, so we require two forms of birth control because any one form of birth control can fail. Patients have to register and log in each month and answer questions showing that they comprehend what they need to do and how to avoid pregnancy. The I Pledge program, we have a booklet for males and a booklet for females. And the I Pledge number that you receive, which is your password to get in, it's basically your ID for getting into the program. And then they'll send you a four digit code that you answer your questions with so that they know that it's you answering the questions. Uh, that I Pledge number will stay with you forever. So if you go on, I, on Accutane, uh, which is also isotretinoin, it used to be called Accutane, uh, if you go on that in the future you will have the same I pledge number. Even if you're a male or a female, you still have to register in the program and every month we need to check labs, make sure that we are maximizing the effects of the medication based on how you're responding. So you do have to come to clinic every month, uh, possibly get labs done, and then we have to enter negative pregnancy test results in for females every month. Females, before you even start the medication, have to have two negative pregnancy tests. So the first visit you will only get registered for the program. Program, we enter the first negative pregnancy test and then when you come back the next month we're able to prescribe as long as your lab work come back, comes back okay. Uh, it is very effective. Um, the main thing with males is and females is you cannot share your medication with anyone and you cannot donate blood because again a female could receive your blood in an emergency and if they were pregnant or became pregnant it could be a problem for that person so you're educated in the fact that you cannot do those things and you cannot get pregnant on the medication so you will have to be if you start birth control you have to be on birth control pills for 30 days prior to even starting the medication uh, if you're already on birth control you have to use that birth control such as an IUD things like that and then use a second form of birth control such as male latex condoms.